So today I want to talk about a mod called Sky AI. Uh, this is actually a automated patcher for Xedit. And what it does is it lets you easily add weapons, armors, clothing, jewelry, ammo, spell tomes, food, and alchemy ingredients into the game uh, to vendors and chests and stuff like that. Uh, it doesn't add them to NPCs to wear, um, but it does add them to vendors randomly. So when you're downloading armor and weapon mods, a lot of the times they're not added into the level list, so they don't show up on enemies or in vendors or anything like that. Uh, usually the only way to get them in game is crafting them, or some mod authors will put them in just one random location. So what this patcher does is it automatically selects all the items and the mods you choose and it will put them into lists that will then put them into vendors to randomly have a chance to uh, grab those items. So I'm going to go through how to set it up and how to make a patch. Uh, the first thing is when you're searching for Sky AI, you'll notice there's two versions. You want the version 2 Redux. It's got a lot more features. I'm not sure why you kept the old one up here, but definitely get version 2. So as for requirements, the main requirements are, of course, Xedit and Xedit patching framework. So first we're going to get the patching framework. So it's just going to be a manual download. So once you download that, you're going to extract it. And then you'll have these files here. You go to your xedit install. And you're just going to copy them over. And then once you do that, you can go back to Sky AI. Now you're going to install the base as a regular mod, so it, through your mod manager. And you're going to place it towards the end of your order. So I have mine pretty much at the end here. After you install that, you're going to get the script. So it's a manual download, and this works exactly the same as the framework. Uh, just extract the zip, uh, go into the folder here, and copy it over. All right, so we have it all set up. Now we're going to run Xedit. Uh, one issue I found is if you have a lot of mods, there are certain specific ones that the patcher doesn't really like uh, to be in your order at all. Uh, for the most part, it's probably not an issue for most people. But when, when you're running Xedit, I would go through and just select the mods that you want to add to the patch. So go to right click, select none. Then you're going to come here and make sure you click on the base. And then go through and just tick the mods that you're going to add to your patch. So equipment I'm going to add. I already have my patch made, but I'll just do a couple just to make a new one. Uh, we'll do that one. And let's say Lost Grimoire. So we got our mods selected, and we're going to hit OK. Now one thing that's nice about this is if you're running a smashed patch or bash patch to emerge level lists, which everyone should be doing. Uh, if you're not, you're greatly underutilizing uh, your mod list, um, or unless you're making your own, uh, you're merging your own level list, which that's what I do. But for most people, they probably do a bash patch or smash patch. So, anyways, the nice thing about that is. You do it once with this, and you don't have to do it again when you add more items. Uh, because what it does is it adds all these records into your smash patch or bash patch. And these records will reference the patch we're going to make. But it doesn't rely on the patch records. So it's, it's, 
it's a pretty cool way he did it where it, it relies on this base mod and not your patch. I'll show you when I make a patch how it references it, but just so you know, if you're if you have a bash patch or smash patch for level list, you only have to do it once with this base and then you're fine with it even if you add new items to your patch. So to get this all to work, all you have to do is left click on the base, right click on it, or left click to select it, then right click on it, hit apply script. Uh, you'll see here this is all in alphabetical order. You're going to go to Sky AI script version 2 and click OK. So you're going to get this little pop up here. Now, Normally I'll select auto select unleveled. Um, if you're selecting just the mods that you want to add to the patch, it doesn't really matter. Uh, this is mostly if you just had your whole list selected, because uh, what this will do is automatically select every mod in your list that doesn't have a leveled list attached to it. Um, there's a lot of reasons you wouldn't want to do that, um, but I'm not really going to get into all that, but I would just leave it unselected. So basically up here is all the different um, things that can add to the patch. Uh, you can just leave them all selected unless specifically you know you don't want to add something. Um, if you're just adding armors and weapons, it's still fine if you have the rest of them selected. It's not going to mess it up or anything. So another feature it has, which is nice, is the amend option. So if you already had a patch made, you downloaded some new armors, weapons that you wanted to add, you already have a patch, you can just hit amend and then add those and it'll just add them to your current patch. You don't have to make a whole new one. Uh, but since I'm showing you a new, new install, we're going to do new patch. And then it's going to give you a list of your mods. So the ones I want to add are going to be these three. Now the asterisk means that it has a level list attached to it, but it doesn't always mean it adds everything how you want it. Because there's certain mods that just add like a, a book or something, like a crafting book to the level list, but it doesn't add the actual armor. So if that's the case, you want to add the actual armor or whatever it is to the patch. So select the mods, click OK. Now you're going to give it a name. The name doesn't matter. Uh, Sky AI Patch. I mean, you can name it whatever you want. And then click OK. Depending on how many records you're going to add, it um, can take up to like a minute or so. I've, I don't think I've ever had it take more than, more than about a minute. It's usually pretty quick. So that added almost 2,000 items. Uh, just make sure it says no errors found. Click OK. So then it adds our patch here. So when you're looking at the patch, how I was talking about how it references it, it adds all these records here. So if you're looking at, for example, this weapon, uh, we'll do a different one that it's more likely, because I don't know if there's any bows in that one. Uh, Bandit, bandit armor. Okay, so this is all in the base, and it adds this new record here. Now this would go on your leveled list if you were merging leveled lists, and this is from the base. Now if we left, control left click on this, it'll reference more lists, and these lists will go into your patch. So if I left click on this top one here, now it's going to reference the items I just added from my mods. And then these are going to have a chance to spawn on the vendors here. Um, it's not really important to know that. It's just, I was just kind of going over why you only need to add uh, the base to your merged or your smashed or bash patches when you're merging level lists because it's based on on uh, these records here, which it shares with your patch. Um, so it'll always reference back 
to the items in your patch so it's pretty nice uh, so just remember if you're ever updating it all you have to do is go back to apply script click OK and then next time you hit amend and then say you uh, added something new click just that one click OK and then it'll add just records from that new mod but it'll keep it all in the same patch so once you're done got your patch made there you can go ahead and exit out and then you want to make sure that is checked click OK um, now by default it puts it in your overwrite um, I mean it's up to you you can leave it there I usually uh, me personally I'll just put it in the same folder with my uh, Sky AI or if you have another place um, yeah I mean it doesn't really matter but I, I like to keep it with this one because I don't like to leave stuff in my overwrite uh, except for logs and stuff which is mostly all that so you put it there and then it is a very important that in your load order so go here and refresh this. That your patch here is right below uh, your base. So just drag it and place it right under there. Um, I already have my other one, my original one made. But yeah, that's it. Um, it's a super simple automated script. Uh, it does have limits of how many items it can add, which are right here. So if you try to add more than that, it's just going to give you an error telling you you've already hit the maximum number. Um, but, I mean, it's a pretty good amount. I'm talking about 2,000 weapons it can add, 2,000 pieces of armor and all that stuff. So uh, if you're the type that likes to add tons of equipment to your game, um, this is a really great way to do it. Uh, definitely doesn't get enough attention. I mean, only 100 endorsements should have way more than that. Uh, it's super simple to use. You don't have to have any real knowledge of XEdit. Um, yeah, so hopefully it's helpful to people. Uh, have a good one. Later.